Vikings and financial field where the Philadelphia Eagles just throttled the Minnesota Vikings 38 to 7 in the NFC Championship game and moved on to the Super Bowl. Mike, what was the, the big deciding factor in the game? What do you think turned it uh, and, and led the Eagles to the victory against the Vikings? Well, I mean, I think the pick six really changed the momentum. The Vikings were marching downfield to start off the game, scored very quickly. It didn't seem like they were ever really able to recover. The pick six, uh, Nick Foles just said, I think it ignited the whole city of Philadelphia, but it definitely ignited the Eagles. The defense had that. The offense all of a sudden started clicking, and I think that they were able to settle into a rhythm. Um, and they just never really relinquished, you know. They just kept staying on the attack, staying aggressive, and we saw them just roll with this thing. Um, with that said, I think we have to talk about Nick Foles. We do. I mean, he he played really, really well. What did we say beforehand? You, you just we weren't sure if he was going to be able to just put his team on his back and. and carry it. We thought he was going to have to have help from the defense. He did get help from the defense, but he did a great job. Doug Peterson, Frank Reich, all did a great job of helping him to get into a rhythm. You saw with a lot of the read pass option uh, that was causing hesitation in the, the pass rush. They weren't just pinning back their ears and coming after him. He was getting the ball out quickly, really settled into the rhythm, really was confident. They were aggressive throughout the game with their play calling. He was aggressive going downfield, avoiding pass rush, extending plays. He looked like a guy who is a Pro Bowl level quarterback. He was able to come through today on a big stage and really help carry his team to this win. Yeah, the, the thing I think that also was impressive was third downs. Yeah. They basically, w whenever Minnesota needed a stop, and they've been so good at that this season, their defense, the Eagles just converted and they kept drives alive and that's what led to this avalanche of points. And that's one thing that I was concerned about. I didn't know that, that Philadelphia could convert those third downs and keep the Minnesota defense on the field. So with them doing that, I think, you know, a statement victory, obviously with the Patriots, it's a different challenge coming ahead. But the Vikings, they just have to be crushed right yeah. now. They were so yeah. close. One game from hosting the Super Bowl. Where do they go from here? Well, they've got questions to decide about the quarterback. Um, Case Keenum played great. I think he was 11-3 and as their starter. He's going to be a free agent. Sam Bradford, you know, Teddy Bridgewater. Who are they going to go with? You know, that's a big thing right there. You've got a great defense. Seems like they're going to be okay there. Obviously, they want to reload. Uh, but, yeah, it really sucks for them to be so close. But, you know, the guys in the locker room have to be just devastated that they didn't come out here and really play at a high level and just really frustrated with themselves. So with that, the Eagles move on to Super Bowl 52, where we'll face the Patriots in Minneapolis.